Greetings, y'all, and welcome to Movie Club. This week we're watching Airplane. Airplane is one of the all-time great farcical comedy parody movies brought to us by the team of Jim Abrams and the Zucker Brothers. Now, I've said this before, that uh, we've kind of lost the parody movie these days. The last great parody movie that we had was Austin Powers, just the first one, and after that it was the Austin Powers sequels, followed by Jason Friedberg and Aaron Seltzer co-opting the whole thing and, you know, just smothering it with shit. But this is back in the day when, you know, you could poke fun at movies and it was actually funny. Airplane assembles what is basically a large group of dramatic actors, actors who usually do serious work and they're all being asked to deliver, you know, these ridiculous lines and carry on, carry on these incredibly insane sight gags. And the movie is so packed with jokes that you can watch the movie multiple times and still catch new things. The, the One of the jokes that I caught that I didn't notice before was the rack of magazines that are all basically porn mags. There's one that just says box magazine. I remember as a kid watching this movie and noticing uh, our lead actor, Robert Hayes, who's our hero, and uh, he's, um, th th I recognized him because he was at the time the voice of Tony Stark on the Iron Man cartoon that was on in the 90s. I think one of the things I didn't like about the movie is Julie Haggerty. Uh, she's just, I don't know, her voice is just kind of annoying to me, and not in a fun way. Actually, the whole romance plot is a little bit grating, but, you know, that it is so familiar and cliche is the point, you know, like the rest of the movie. With a comedy like this, it helps to have something familiar to hang all the jokes on. So, some of these actors in the supporting cast are excellent. You got, you know, um, Peter uh, Graves and uh, Lloyd Bridges, and of course, uh, Leslie Nielsen. I hope this generation is able to recognize the awesomeness that was Leslie, uh, the late, great Leslie Nielsen. Uh, because this, I think this was maybe the first, or at least the very early part of him uh, transferring from drama into just doing comedy all the time. And basically every movie that he did after this, including especially the Naked Gun movies, was kind of trying to uh, ride on the magic that he found here. So yeah, so after this there was, they actually did make a sequel, which is, you know, kind of terrible. Um, William Shatner's in it. The Zucker Brothers went off to make uh, the Naked Gun movies. Uh, Abrams went and did stuff like uh, Top Secret and other movies. Uh, his movies had always had an exclamation point because I guess that's his trademark. But Airplane is still one of the greatest comedies that there is. And I'm, and I'm glad that it's on the Netflix streaming for everybody to see. So that's for this week. Uh, check out uh, SourceFed Nerd for uh, more reviews. And uh, we'll see you next week. Cheers.